What is up, Freighters? I'm Frances Sullivan. And I'm Manis Lorgan. This week, a trailer on the upcoming improv show, a very special look at Meditation Mondays, and a celebration of this semester's Story Slam. Let's get into it. This is RJTV. We finally made it to Friday. It has been a crazy week. It has. What have you been up to? Well, last night was this semester's Immersion Class Story Slam. Yeah, I saw you there. It was such a cool event. The Story Slam is a great opportunity for the Immersion Classes who went to Memphis, Tijuana, and Denver to gather together and share their experiences, encounters, and stories from their trips. Mrs. Ortiz, Mrs. Frederick, Mr. Dawkins, and Mrs. Cole's classes got to read their reflections and stories and share their documentaries. After the story slam, Manis and I asked the audience, some teachers, and some of the presenters what they thought about the event. The story slam is one of my favorite nights of the year just because it's a, such an awesome celebration of all of the formation our students have experienced all semester long. I think all the stories were great and how everyone told everything. I really had such a great time sharing and I am so blessed to have this opportunity to share my story and to just be on the Denver immersion and be able to encounter some beautiful people. It was cool to hear everyone's different perspectives. I especially like the social documentary videos. I thought they were really professional. I thought it was really inspiring and I appreciated the vulnerability that a lot of people had. I thought it was really great to hear all the different stories and kind of see how, although we all went on different trips, we kind of had similar experiences. That was just such a great event. It was. I loved it. My immersion class, Theology of Encounter, is definitely one of my favorite classes. And Mrs. Cole is the best. Speaking of Mrs. Cole, doesn't she run the Meditation Mondays we hear about in the announcements every day? Yes, she does. I always hear about that, but I don't really know what it is. Well, lucky for you, Sophie Wei and Winta Tesfaji got the scoop. Do you feel like you need a break from the noise? Well, Meditation Monday is a great solution for that. Meditation Monday started last year just in an effort to respond to a need to create some time for silence for kids during the day. Meditation Monday is a 10-minute practice in the Our Lady of the Way Chapel during academic support. It gives students an opportunity to pray in their own way. So we have a guided meditation of some sort, and then there's always space for silence. Meditation Monday is just a very calming and relaxing activity to go to when you're having a hard and stressful day. Anytime we get to put both feet on the ground and sit up tall and pay attention to our breath, is an opportunity to connect with who we are. When we connect with who we are, we connect with each other, we connect more deeply with God. So the benefit is about carving out some space in your day to feel who you really are. And we don't, everything is so rushed in our life and there's so many distractions. So the benefit is to be able to be present for a moment. Meditation Monday was really calming. It was like really helpful. I definitely feel like I'd be really interested in trying it. Depends on how sad I'm feeling, I guess. Yeah, I think it would be like a good way to start my week off and like find my peace of mind just to relax. I do think sometimes I just don't have much to do. So I think sometimes I would be able to know. Gets you in the right headspace to continue my Monday at school. Meditation Monday is available for all students at Regis when they are in need of a place of silence. It is a great opportunity to find some peace from the distractions throughout your day. Wow, that sounds so cool, and it would be so much fun to drop by Meditation Monday this week. You know what else is going to be on Monday? The bike drive. Bring gently used or new bikes to the main entrance in the SIC. All the bikes will be donated to children in Africa. Our spring sports are at the peak of their season. Let's take a look at your Raider sports update. Hi Raiders, I'm Hannah. And I'm David. Welcome back to your Raider Sports Update. Starting off, baseball took home some big wins this past week, beating Douglas County 15-3 and Thunder Ridge 6-3. They play again on Monday against Castleview and their annual lunchtime game has been moved from yesterday to Tuesday. Be there. Boys Volleyball took a win over Bear Creek 2-0 and hosted their senior night last night against Thunder Ridge. Great work, boys. Track and field broke some incredible school records this last week. Senior David Flagg in the 1600 meter, Abby Fry in the pole vault, and the boys relay team in the 4 by 100 meter. Congratulations, runners. Boys swim and dive compete at the John Strain Memorial Invite 
today and tomorrow. Good luck, boys. Girls Golf played at Saddle Rock Golf Course Monday, taking fourth place in the tournament, with Audrey Whitmore getting a new personal record. Great work, Audrey. Girls Tennis continued their season with a 7-0 sweep over Douglas County this past Tuesday. Way to keep the great season going. Rugby played Monarch last Saturday and played their biggest game of the year so far, tomorrow, where they take the field against Denver East, who they beat in the state championship last year. Show up to support the team. Girls Soccer continues their season next Tuesday when they play a match against Ponderosa at Ponderosa. Good luck. Girls Lacrosse had a great week, taking victories over Denver East for their senior night, as well as Arapahoe, and they play again Monday. Keep up the good work, ladies. And finally, Boys Lacrosse took a victory over Rock Canyon 15-4 with Rocco Biviano scoring four goals. They play Colorado Academy today at home at 6.30. Show up and show your support. That's all from this week. Back to you, Francis and Manis. Thanks, Hannah and David. We sure do have a lot of exciting things happening around campus. Yes, and this week we just had Sources of Strength Week. Yeah, it was so great to see everyone dressed in the colors and supporting the cause. And as we end the year, let's remember to continue to support each other. One way to do this is to go support Mission Improbable, the improv show happening tonight. The Filmmakers Club made a trailer about this awesome event. What are we doing here? What are you doing here? How is that any different? What do you mean, how is that different? How is changing the question about us to specifically be about me any different? Is the question different? Does changing a single word in a question make it different? Does having an attitude make it different? What does that mean? Well, why are you being so moody? Why are you being so weird? Am I acting weird? Yes, and why are we talking about questions? Should we be talking about something else? Yeah, like why are we here? Why are you here? What did I just say? Are we supposed to be doing something? Are we doing something right now? Are we being watched? By whom? I don't know. Thanks, y'all. That is so cool. Make sure to catch the show tonight at 6 in the Z Theater. That's all we have for you this week. Have a great weekend. I had fuzzy socks on today. Don't yeah. care.